Well, Janice, we're here again at the Morning yes. Glory ASCAP Breakfast. Yes. Now, last year was the first time that I had a chance to meet you. Um, your uh, your album, Greatest Life Ever. Yes. Loved it. Thank you. Was able to get it. And it was the first time that I met you. So yeah. I wanted to actually, just because I enjoyed our interview, yeah. support the music and I love the project. Um, since then, you've had a baby boy who's here today boy. and he's so sweet. Thank you. Tell us about motherhood for you. Oh, my goodness. It is a whirlwind <laughs> of emotions. I like, imagine. I mean, I felt everything. There have There's been so much joy. There have been tears in the middle of the night. You know, every mom understands. But it's just the best privilege, you know, that the Lord has given us. And it really gives us insight into how much he loves us and how much he gave. Because I'm like, I don't want my baby boy to hurt at all. And so to know that the Lord sacrificed his son for us is just, it just blows my mind at this point. And it's the simplest thing. It's the gospel in a nutshell, but it's come that much more alive since he's been born. So. And it's beautiful that you're able to see that in your experience, just for that to even bring the love that the Lord has even more full circle is beautiful. Well, I think that's the way the Lord intended it. When he calls us to new things, he shows, especially relationships, he shows us his love in the relationships that he brings to us, you know? So it's really amazing, really beautiful. Now with this new role you have as a mother, and you obviously still have your album still in this gospel arena, how are you balancing and being able to kind of still keep everything moving career-wise and still be able to give the time and attention to being a mother that you need to be and just learning how to do that. Honestly, taking it one day at a time and just trying to trying to learn to give myself breaks. I'm probably really hard on myself. Um, but learning to give myself breaks and learning from those who've gone before me. Like, I definitely call Erica Campbell every, like, six weeks, like, <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? And she's just like, oh, you're fine. So, <laughs> She's awesome. But you know what I mean? Calling people and just taking it a day at a time and definitely listening to the Holy Spirit every day. Every single day. Yes. Yeah. Campbell family is a good family to learn that from because they have, between Tina, they have a lot of children that they've had experience. So I'm glad you reach out to some people that definitely know. And they're sweet and they won't hold back. You know, they won't withhold information and they won't be like, mm -mm, figure it out. Yeah. That's so good. Thank you. Now, you were nominated for some awards for your project, which is exciting. I saw it. I was like, yes, yeah, she got nominated. How did that feel? That felt really good. I mean, it always feels good as an artist to be recognized for your work. You don't do it for that, but it feels so good to know that it's been appreciated, that people have noticed. And so, yeah, it felt amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the experience today and at Stellar Awards tonight as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.